approaching, approaching, approaching. Okay, welcome back. I'm still alive in Sector 9. I'm going to head to Sector 10. See what I find. I just went to the station. I'm all stocked up on everything. I bought a new uh, weapon for the ship. I'm leaving. Well, let's let's say hi to the Firax. <laughs> okay, I'm working on it. You need to give me some clues, guys. Okay. Now, like I said, a lot of people die in Sector 10 or around there. Let's see what happens to us. Or me, I guess. You're not really here. Blasted settlement. Former human colony. I'll land here. Alright, giant snail and killer bunnies. I'm going to use my last concussion grenade so it doesn't take up any inventory space. And I'm going to hope that it takes these guys out. That was your last concussion grenade. Be more careful or go back to the shuttle. Okay, well, I'm actually standing on the shuttle. So, I'll use these. Now, giant snails, I believe, are herbivores. Docile behemoth. Yeah. So I'm going to just try to avoid them. Alright, my new mercenary skill did not work there. Thanks a lot. It does says less chance of activating traps. Alright, this is what I'm here for. The Fall of Terra Chapter 6. I'm intentionally uh, not staying on those for too long or reading them because they are a bit of the story. At least the background. I don't want to you know, if you want to check that out for yourself, I don't want to ruin it for you. I'm not shooting that guy. Shoot the rabbit, that's fine. Because it's a killer bunny. It says right in the description, predator, not prey. Clumsy. Man, thanks a lot. Okay. Glad I didn't leave. A lot of gems on this run. So once I find a station, I can sell those off. Okay, we found that beacon, so I returned it, get money and a warp drive, restock, sell, uh, buy more crafting parts, I will eventually sell these off, let's see, I will eventually learn lots of recipes and craft good stuff, cloud gun, this is an interesting sort of weapon, kind of like a, a flamethrower or uh, a gas gun, a, ga a gun that actually shoots clouds of gas or energized particles, any number of things. This is a standard one, and its normal damage type is cryo. Now, this window here, it, it, they're not going to stay like that. It's going to go somewhere, I don't know, that makes more sense. But this really lets you uh, take a look at the new, all the new weapons and what they do. So, all right, I bought the cloud gun. It's automatically installed. I'm going from an incendiary shotgun to a cryo weapon. Here's the hyperdrive they just gave me. Oh, I am selling that. 50,000 credits. Thank you. Supply storage. Oh man, I can afford it, but it's almost all of my money. But it'll let me survive longer.
I just don't know. Well, if I run out of supplies later, you can you can come back and make fun of me for not buying it because I'm not buying it yet. All right, I have a hundred thousand credits. Cool, and I guess I'm playing with permadeath, so I get uh, achievements. I usually don't play with permadeath when I'm testing, because, well, I don't want to get so far and then just lose it. Okay. Scan this barren planet. Mountains, lava. Well, maybe on a planet with... Oh my god. Whew, that's a lot of lava. I'm going to land far away from any of this stuff. Scorpids. God, I hope they're... Uh, I hope they're damaged by cold weapons. Okay, shuttle will be ready for launch in five turns. Now that is because that is because I have that skill that lets me uh, I have a shuttle related skill so that reduces the cooldown. Um, man, <laughs> these guys really have me scared. Uh, all right, I have grenades. Let's see what I can do with that. I can take out three of them because they're they're all going to shoot me. And standing in the shuttle. Standing in the shuttle gives you some protection now. Okay. Maybe they maybe they can't shoot me from that far. Okay. That guy's getting close. This one right here. Die. Die, please. I'm asking you nicely. Okay. I was scared. Maybe I'll be all right. <laughs> Maybe these new uh, grenades are pretty cool. I'm into it. Okay. Subterranean suckers. They can survive on the surface of this kind of planet. Oh yeah, I can walk on mountains and see what else is out there. Alright. I like to show off terrain deformation. Hopefully this works. Yep. Broke some of those crystals. So now I can walk through them. Normally you can't walk through the crystals. Okay, there's my oxygen warning. And now I'm surrounded. Who's deader? You're deader. And I am running away so hard. Oh. No! <laughs> Just made it. Officers injured. My tactical and engineering. Okay. We'll take a break from that. Find someplace sunny. Now, I probably can't go to this planet. Man. 23 damage a turn. Check out that atmosphere. 81% nitrogen, but 15% hydrogen cyanide. 3.3 times normal gravity. Very low atmospheric pressure. Just terrible. Not going there. All right. Been here? No. Finish that. That's not going to be affected by ice weapons. 
And yes, I'm going to give you a way to know that. But, oh man. This kind of seems like a lost cause. Like it's just going to be way harder than it's worth. Yep. I know when to leave. Zero percent explored. I think I'm going to go get supplies and crew. Sell off the data. Buy these crafting parts. More grenades. I have some backups. Okay, I'll take a quest from you. More scorpids. Three of my officers are injured. Wow. I'm going to switch my weapon to whatever has the longest range. <laughs> and he does not care about that at all. I can leave this planet, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to cut this episode short right now, but thanks a lot for watching, and I'm still alive, so uh, I'll see you again.